I wish I knew these things when I first started making custom hoodies. And so today I've compiled everything that you need to know about the three different types of custom hoodies that you might want to make. If you're anything like me, you might see custom hoodies like this or this pop up on your Instagram all the time. And I've made a bunch of custom hoodies myself. And today I'm going to go over all the different types of reworked hoodies that you might see on the internet and give you a little more information about how to recreate that look yourself. I'll also talk about some sewing tips, but more on that later. I looked at a bunch of different hoodies when making this video and I've categorized them into three different groups. There's overlay hoodies where the graphic design is sewn on top. There's underlay hoodies where it's the opposite and it's sewn underneath. And there's combination hoodies where you take two or more hoodies and sew them together to make one. So let's start off by talking about overlays. I know I get DMs from people all the time asking for tips and tricks and where they should start with making reworked hoodies. And overlay graphic is where you should start. They're the easiest to wrap your head around how you should actually piece it together and make it. Which honestly is probably the toughest part of making a reworked hoodie is figuring out the different steps that you're gonna need to complete to put it together and I've made a ton of these like this hoodie here which was the first hoodie I ever made on this channel you can see the graphics just sewn right on top of the actual hoodie making it the easiest to make now these designs can also look really cool underneath the hoodie but we'll talk about that later now there's this account on Instagram called QBSAY, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they make really cool stuff and here's a couple of overlay hoodies that they've made. I absolutely love their stuff. Honestly, in a future video, I'm gonna try to recreate what they do because I think it looks so cool. And so they just do a simple graphic or design overlaid on a hoodie, but you can do so much more than that. You can do brand imitations like this Red Bull hoodie that I made. And if you wanna go down this route and make a hoodie that directly mimics a brand or logo, Here's a few tricks for you. Make sure to print out that brand's logo on pieces of paper and make a stencil out of it that you can then use to mark out where you're gonna cut your fabric. That makes it so it's super clean and crisp and resembles the actual logo perfectly, as you can see with my Red Bull hoodie here. And as far as fabric goes, you don't just have to use like a jersey cotton I love using denim on hoodies. A few tricks when using denim is you should use a Dremel to get like a raw distressed edge because it's gonna fray anyways. So denim is a good way to make your overlay hoodie just a little bit more unique. There's a brand on Instagram called Thermal Vision and a lot of their early work was done with denim as well and it just looks so cool. So yeah, that's something definitely to explore. Another really common type of overlay hoodie that I get sent questions about all the time are those puffed rib cage hoodies. They're all over Instagram and for good reason. I've even made a rib cage hoodie myself. A lot of the ones you see on Instagram have like a puff to them. I personally didn't do this, but if that's something you want to do, here's how you can achieve that. You basically need to buy filling from an artsy craft store and fill the inside between the two layers of fabric. So that's what gives the rib cage its 3D-ness. 3Dness? Is that a word? I've never done this myself, so I really can't speak to how hard it is, but I know I've gotten DMs about it before, so that's how you can achieve that look. So overlay hoodies are a really great place to start, but if you're ready for a little bit more of a challenge, let's talk about underlay hoodies. Honestly, it's like the same thing, but it's sewn in underneath the hoodie, and then the blank hoodie is cut away to reveal whatever graphic or design or fabric or anything that you've sewn in underneath. Right off the hop, I got a couple of tips and tricks for you. It's honestly best to sew it in underneath and then cut out your top hoodie, just because it gives you the cleanest lines. That's what I did for this hoodie here, and it just helps the sewing follow the edge of the fabric so much nicer. A pretty common type of reworked hoodie I see all the time are those ones with big tapestries, and if you're wanting to work with a tapestry, you need to underlay it. Underlaying it will help keep the edges from fraying and just make the whole thing look cleaner overall. While not quite being a tapestry, I worked with towels a couple weeks ago and this is exactly what I did. I laid it underneath the hoodie so that the edges wouldn't fray and then the hoodie fall apart over time. That brand Thermal Vision that I mentioned earlier does some really cool work with tapestries. So if that's something you're interested in, check them out because their work is so cool. A really common type of underlay hoodie is something like this with like a little jagged edge and then a graphic underneath. It's a really good place to start if this is something that you want to do because it's not too much to get your head around at first but it's a little bit more of a challenge than the overlay and if you feel like you want even more of a challenge now we can talk about combinations this is where you take two hoodies and sew them together to make one the thing that's hardest about this is just making sure that everything lines up I've done it before and it's pretty challenging. A really popular type of combination hoodie that I keep seeing all over Instagram are these flame ones. I've never made one of these, but it seems like a lot of work. And I think that's probably the reason I haven't made one of these. <laughs> Instead, making like a color blocking combination hoodie is the easiest route to go down. I mean, here's photos of a combination hoodie that I made and it's a lot less complicated. It's just as simple as buying two identical hoodies and then chopping them down the middle 
and putting them together. That brand, QBSAY, however you pronounce your name, that I mentioned earlier, do some really, really cool combination and overlay combos. Like you can see that they took two different hoodies, put them into one, and then did an overlay graphic on top. And the result is just so cool. And one of the hardest parts when making any of these hoodies is figuring out how to situate it on the sewing machine. Luckily, I made a video about how to put one of these things together. So you can click up here and learn how to make a reworked hoodie for yourself.